four on trivia track. join us today. Two new teams? Uh, no, we got one new team because we have returning champs with us. But first of all, I want you to meet our challengers, all under the age of 30. And they're the juniors, and here they are. And our returning team, the champ, they didn't win the big money yesterday, but boy, would they love to do it today. Welcome our seniors back with us. If you're ready to play our game, we're going to start off with a factor fiction round. I'll give each one of our contestants a trivia statement. What they must do is tell me whether that statement is true or false. Every correct answer is worth $25 for their team. So let's go to our returning camp. Carla, Robert, and Mary, tell me, would you like to have the red set or the black set of questions? Yes, red. Red set, black set, then goes to our juniors, and here we go. Mary, right to you. True or false, there are no clocks in Las Vegas gambling casinos. That's true. It sure is true, right. <laughs> They don't want you to know what time it is, just how much you got. Robert, a single 75-watt bulb gives more light than three 25-watt bulbs. That's true. Yep, you right. It is true. Good deal. Paula, Olivia de Havilland's real name is Olivia Fontaine. True. Nope. However, her sister Joan Fontaine's real name is Joan de Havilland. How about that? Okay, you got two out of the three, right? That's not so bad at all. You got $50. Let's go over to our juniors. Welcome to our show. Nice to have you with us. Jeff, they left you with a black set of questions, and here's your first question. The bumblebee dies when it stings. True. No, it's not. They can sting and sting and sting again. All right, Katie. Science fiction hero Buck Rogers' real first name is Anthony. Stop. No, it's true. It's his name. Sorry, Diane, the only state in the Union that has one syllable is Maine. False. No, that's true. That's true. So, uh, lots of time to catch up, believe me. You tell me this time, Junior's red set or black set of questions? Let's go for red. Red. Want the red, black set, then goes to our seniors, and we'll go right back to Diane. True or false, Diane, the music for the classic Marlon Brando movie on the waterfront was composed by Leonard Bernstein. False. No, it's true. It's true. Katie, country music hottest duo, the Judds, are mother and daughter. Yeah, true. Okay, Jeff, the world's oldest surviving parliament is that of Great Britain. True. Nope. Oh. Iceland. Iceland's assembly is the world's oldest surviving parliament. Okay, let's go back to our seniors, and with this set of questions, Paula will begin with you. If you cut an octopus and it bleeds, its blood will come out blue. False. No, it's true. It is true. Robert, it's impossible to sneeze and keep one's eyes open at the same time. That's true. It's true. Yes, sure. You got another 25. All right, Mary. Mary, more women own stock than men. That's true. Yes, it is true. Right, you are. So there you have it. End of our top of fiction now. We've got $25 for our juniors, $100 for our seniors. We've got to get to $1,000 eventually. This gives our seniors, by the way, the advantage of our trivia track round, which we will play when we come back right after this. Trivia track, $25 for our juniors, $100 for our seniors. It's the team that makes it to $1,000 that wins the game and then goes on to play for a possible $10,000. And seniors, you know, because you're out in front, that gives you the advantage in this round. You get to choose the categories for every question. So the first decision you have to make is between these categories, Paul McCartney or U.S. President. What do you think it'll be? U.S. President. U.S. President. You were voted down, weren't you, Mary? No. Oh, okay. So we'll leave Paul McCartney for our juniors. And the question goes to Mary, first of all. Category is U.S. President. Remember, in this round, the questions are worth either $50 $100 or $200, depending on how many of you agree on the correct answer. Mary, who is the only U.S. president to visit all 50 U.S. states while in office? Was it Richard Nixon, Lyndon Johnson, Ronald Reagan, or Gerald Ford? Lyndon Johnson. You say Lyndon Johnson. Let's find out if Robert agrees or disagrees with that. 
I agree. You agree with Lyndon Johnson. How about you, Paula? I'm going to disagree. Uh, disagree, okay. <laughs> Two of you say that it's Lyndon Johnson. If you're right, it's $100 for your team. Hang on and let's find out. Did Lyndon Johnson visit all 50 states? No, he did not. It wasn't Lyndon Johnson. So, Paula, you can still get $50 for your team if you can find the right answer. Who do you think it is? I'm going to say Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. Well, audience seems to agree with you. Let's find out if you're right. Was it Richard Nixon that visited all 50 states? Yes, it was. $50 out of it. All right, you've now got $150. Let's go down to our juniors who need to do some catching up. And they left you with the category of Paul McCartney. And how happy you were about that, huh? <laughs> Jeff, question goes to you, as you know. Which of these is the official newsletter of the Paul McCartney Fan Club? Is it Yesterday's, Wings Wag, Applesauce, or Club Sandwich? The official newsletter of the Paul McCartney Fan Club. What do you think it is? Wingswag. Wings Wag. Wings Wag, you say. <laughs> Katie, what do you think? I think I'm going to agree with that. You agree with Wings Wag. Diane. I'm disagree. You disagree. $100 for your team. A chance to close the gap a little bit. Let's find out. Is the newsletter called Wings Wag? <laughs> No, it is not Wings Wag. Diane, you can still get $50 for your team. If you can find the right answer, what do you want to go with? I'm going to say yesterday. Yesterday? <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? $50 for the juniors. Is it yesterday? <laughs> no, it's called Club Sandwich. I don't know. <laughs> okay, you still got $25. let us go back to our seniors and let them choose another category. <laughs> Barbie doll or Rogers and Hammerstein this time? <laughs> Rogers and, Rogers and Hammerstein will be Barbie doll down there for the juniors. Then, Robert, question to you. Famous composers Richard Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein collaborated on many Broadway musicals. What was their last musical together? Was it Oklahoma, South Pacific, The Sound of Music, or The King and I? Sound of Music. Sound of Music. Paula, agree or disagree? I agree with that. You agree, Mary. I agree, too. You agree, too. Well, $200 was the last Rodgers and Hammerstein musical, The Sound of Music. Yeah. Very good. Oklahoma was in 1943, South Pacific was 49, and The King and I was in 1951. It was The Sound of Music, 1959. You've got $350. Come on, juniors. They left you now with this category, Barbie Doll. And Katie, it's for you. In keeping up with the times, what clothing line was recently added to the Barbie doll's wardrobe? Is it Japanese clothes, astronaut clothes, business clothes, or maternity clothes? Um, I believe it was business clothes. Business. Let's see. Diana Grace, what do you Everybody says business? Let's find out. $200 if the correct answer is business clothes. Barbie has business clothes now, and she comes with a, a briefcase. You can also buy an office play set. Hope you're writing this down. I am. You got two hundred twenty-five dollars, Junior. She's got three hundred and fifty dollars, Junior. Our goal is to get to one thousand dollars. We'll do that. We'll play our trivia race right after this. Look here, $225 for our juniors, $350 for our seniors. The goal is to get to $1,000, and the way we get there is by playing our $1,000 trivia race. So if you come with me, the race will begin right now. <laughs> Trivia race until one of our teams reaches a thousand dollars. The winners will then get a shot at ten thousand dollars. And our seniors are out in front. They have three hundred and fifty dollars. That means they get to go first. They'll have three chances to come up with a correct answer to a question. If all three of them miss, control then goes over to the other side, and each question's worth a hundred dollars. So Mary, you have the choice to make hit song, Jackie, or movie. What will it be? Choose movies, Jack. Mm -hmm. I'm Bob. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> Just don't put too many O's in it. All right. Here we go. <laughs> What was the last major silent film made in Hollywood? The Great Dictator. Robert. The Great Dictator. Incorrect. Paula. The Great Dictator. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> what was called Silent Movie, made in 1976 by Mel Brooks. You're frozen at $350. Let's go to the juniors with $225 in just. 
Oz. Junior, is what's the Ken Woodman's first word in The Wizard of Oz? Oil. Yes, all right, oil. Katie. It's done. Tell me, Katie, in 1975, Love Will Keep Us Together was the first hit for what musical duo? The Captain and Tina. Yeah, the Captain and Tina, all right. Diane. Jackie O. Jackie O. <laughs> <laughs> it is. What's the name of the Greek island on which Jackie Kennedy and Aristotle and Masters were married? Monaco. No, I'm sorry. Jeff. Crete. Incorrect. Katie. Um. Scorpio. You're close to 425. Back to the seniors and Mary. <laughs> uh, singer. Singer. All right. Who is the lead singer of The Doors? Oh, forget it. <laughs> no, Robert. Jim Morrison. Yes, Jim Morrison. <laughs> I'm sure you know that one, Mary. Paula? General. Excuse me, Paula. General. General. Okay. What well, general defeated Robert E. Lee at Gettysburg? Uh, okay. So, Mary? Uh, Grant. Incorrect, Robert. Meade. Yes, George Meade, you're right. Good for you. Very good. Paula again. Um, country music. All right. Paula, coal miner's daughter was the story of country music superstar Loretta Lynn. Who played Loretta in the movie? This is basic. That's right. This is basic. Doing fine. Here we go, Mary. It's twice one. Tell me, Mary, a male goose is a gander. What's a male swan? Mm. Robert? Drake? No, Paula. I was going to say Drake. No, that's right. A cob. C-O-B is what you call a male swan. You're closing the fifty to the juniors and Diane. Rock group. Rock group. All right, juniors, time to do some catching up. What rock group gave us the famous album Sticky Fingers? No, Roy Stone. Yes, Roy Stone. Katie. Um, Katie. Katie, what is the name of the product that uses the tune Pearly Shells on their commercials? Uh, Diane. Coca? No, Jeff. Dove. Don't know. Oh. C and H Sugar. You're frozen at 525. That was the tenth question. Hereafter, values double. They're now worth two hundred dollars a piece. Junior's at 525, senior's at 650. Here we go, Mary. <coughs> award. Award it is. The U.S. has its Oscar. What does Canada call its award for motion picture excellence? Thanks. Robert. Benji. Oh, Paula. Cleo. No. Nope. Oh. That's the genie. You're frozen at 650. Back to the juniors with Katie. Transvestite. <laughs> In the 1959 movie, Some Like It Hot, two men dressed up as women in an all-girl band. Jack Lemmon played one of them. Who played the other? Tony Curtis. That's right, Tony Curtis. Yeah. Then you can take our lead, Diane. Candy. Candy. Before they became multi-flavored, what was the first flavor of Lifesavers? Cherry. No. Peppermint. Peppermint is right. Yeah. Cherry. Um, take your music, please. For the game and a chance to play for ten thousand dollars. Name the country superstar whose hits include Dang Me, Chug a Lug, and Do Wacka Do. Real no, Haggard. No, Roger Diane. Miller. Roger Miller! End up with six hundred and fifty dollars, and thank you, Mary. Nice to have you with us on our show. Very best of luck, you. Thank you, Robert. You know a lot of trivia, though. I'll tell you that, Paula. Nice to have you with us. Thank you a lot. Well, look here, champ. You've got eleven $1 hundred and twenty-five dollars right there, but that is nothing compared to what's about to happen to you. Because, as you know, in a moment we're going to begin our climb up our trivia ladder. At the top of that ladder is a pot of gold of ten thousand dollars. You come right back with us, and we'll begin that climb. Come in here right now. Come in here, juniors. You did a fine job. Congratulations, too. You were really down at one time. You guys said like $200 and some dollars. They had $650 and then bam, 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 bam. It was great. You did a wonderful job. You're the champ. And now we're going to give you an opportunity to win $10,000. I would love to see you do it. I want you to go over there and get in position and get my seat. Now you 
crazy part is that now you're on your own, and your positions over there have been determined by how well each of you did in our trivia race. Jeff, you did best, so you're in the number one spot. That gives you the option, Jeffrey, to either play or pass on our first set of answers. We're going to climb up our ladder, rung by rung, until you get to the top. And at the top, as you know, is a pot of gold of $10,000. So if you're ready, hang on. Here we go. This is going to be a very exciting climb for that big pot of gold. The Brothers Grimm, Hans Christian Andersen, Mother Goose, Aesop. Jeff, you want to play or pass? I'll play. Go play. Question is worth $1,000 to you, but most important of all, a chance to play for the big pot of gold up at the top of our ladder. Here's your question. In whose writings will you find the story of the ugly duckling? Hans Christian Andersen. Hans Christian Andersen, you said. <laughs> Good luck to you. Please let it be, huh? For $1,000, this is Hans Christian Andersen. Congratulations to you. You've got $1,000, and better yet, your place is big money. Let's find out right now if the ladies are going to join you. Hang on, Katie and Diane. Let's go to the next level of our ladder. And Katie, this time it'll be your turn, too, for the total time. Gamma globulin, platelet, hemoglobin, plasma. What do you think? Play or pass? I think I'm going to pass. Pass goes to Diane. Oh. Diane, the question is yours, and here we go. What gives blood its red color? What gives blood its red color? Plasma. Plasma. Oh, let's find out. For Diane, a chance to play at the top of the ladder, is it plasma? <laughs> Sorry, it's not a hemoglobin. Gone, gone. We say goodbye to you, Diane. Thank you very much for being with us today. Okay, Katie, you passed that time. Can't pass this time. Got to go over the next group. So let's climb to our next level of our ladder. Here we go. TWA, Eastern, American, United. The question. What airline slogan is doing what we do best? American Airlines. American Airlines. Come on, Katie, let's find out. Is it American Airlines? All right. Congratulations to you both. I've earned the right to play for the big dollars now. You each have $1,000. And if you're ready, let's go to the top of our ladder. And there's a big pot of gold for you. Here we go. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, Ringo Starr. Here's your question. Who is the only member of the Beatles to have sung on the group's ballad yesterday? The only member of the Beatles to have sung on the group's ballad yesterday. If you would, please raise the covers in front of you and record your choice. Locked in your answers. What'd you say, Jeff? I said Paul McCartney. Okay, Katie, what'd you say? You better take Paul McCartney. If you're right, you're going to split $10,000. Good luck to you. For $10,000 for Jeff and Katie, is it Paul McCartney? $13,125. I want you to keep that as a souvenir. I'd like to say that we'll see them back next time, but we're not going to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our last show on Trivia Trap. And so I would just simply like to say that to Mark Goodson, it took me almost 20 years to be able to work for your company, and I want you to know that I feel that you're a man of class, and everybody around you carries that same kind of class. Thank you, Mark Goodson. To Jonathan Goodson, who has been a friend and a supporter and a helper and producer of our show. To Mark Breslow, who I can only say, he is the best. Our director. To Bob Hilton, who helps me through my corny jokes while we're in commercials. Thank you, Bob. Chester Fellman, who nursed me along in this show. And Chester, you're my mentor. Thank you so very much. To Julie Becker, who has been just incalculable with her help. 
to the entire production staff of Goodson Tobman. I love all of you very much. And of course, to my friends at ABC, to the programming department, to the crew and everybody, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We don't say goodbye in this business. We only say until we see you next time. So I'm Bob Eubanks. Until we see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> were received. Quazelle presents this hand-blown blue floor glass lamp from the Abigail Adams collection, designed to add beauty and warmth to your home. Furnished by Quazelle Lighting. And Hamilton Beach's full-size burst of steam, lightweight iron, Silverstone gold plate for no stick, no snag iron. Delicate fabric stays silky soft from Hamilton Beach Scoville. And for new fashion looks, late looks by Burlington. New colors, new textures, and department and specialty stores. It isn't a look without a late look. And Diet Shasta now with a great taste of meat this week. Can you name the Diet Soft Drink with 18 flavors? Say, I want to pop. Diet Shasta. And Betty Crocker Strawberry Shortcake Candy Cake Decorations. Kids love them. It's fun and easy to use. Betty Crocker Candy Cake Decorations. This is Bob Hilton speaking for all the real nice folks here at Trivia Draft. A nice good for your television production. Tonight is the premiere of Me and Mom. Can a down-to-earth daughter and... Oh, you saw it, that's the vision.